Today I'm going to be letting you know my thoughts on some really inexpensive K-beauty makeup that can be found on YesStyle. We're going to be talking about MAC Queen Cosmetics and I have been testing this stuff out and I have some good stuff, some bad stuff, some stuff in the middle and I thought I would let you know because it's always so exciting to find inexpensive makeup out there and some of it can be really great and some of it is just like just skip it, you know, just <laughs> find something else and I hope this video can help you navigate the brand and also navigate if you're going to shop on YesStyle which this this video is sponsored by Estelle. I'm really appreciative for them sponsoring this video and working with me again. Thank you guys so much for your support on the last video. I really appreciate it and I love working with Estelle because they let me do my own thing. They let me talk about products that I want to. So I'm excited to create a look for you today and give you my thoughts. So let's just get into it. I'm trying to go in order of face. So this I did not put on today because unfortunately I don't like it. This is the UV protection daily sun cream. I was excited to try a sunscreen but this one to me is just a little thick okay it's <laughs> and when I say a little I mean it's kind of the consistency of glue and just for my skin I wasn't finding it working it also has a bit of a white cast on it so I just don't think this is the best one out there I know there are so many great uh, K Beauty J Beauty sunscreens out there so if you have a favorite that you can find on yes Style, let us know down below because I would love to know this one you know as much as it's supposed to be a primer and all that I just found also that throughout the day my oils would come through a lot and it just looked heavy on my skin especially after I applied makeup so this one wasn't my favorite unfortunately sorry to say we're starting off there I know there are some good products I promise <laughs> I think everything else is like eyes and lips so let's just get into this eye look I'm gonna be priming my eyes naturally I always prime my lids because I do have oily lids I also have a code with yes style for this video I don't know if I flash it on the screen already it's Lauren McQueen 15 and it'll save you 15% off if you want to buy anything from the McQueen line on the site it's not an affiliate code but I do have affiliate links down below just so you guys are aware all right for today's look I want to do something very much in the k-beauty style because I feel like that is you know how the eyeshadows that I picked up perform so this is a little quad here it's all mattes except for this shimmer which is super pretty you can see it on my little stained finger because we got some lip stains I'm gonna talk about they're intense you guys I really like the shimmer it's nice and flaky it has a nice shine to it and so I want to do something kind of simple so I can really let the lips pop through that's my goal so I'm gonna start off with the lightest brown shade in here just using a fluffy blending brush I feel like overall my experience with the McQueen shadows is that they're pretty solid like to be honest I have a very high standard for eyeshadow and I've tried a lot of eyeshadows and I would say that most eyeshadows are like decent you know what I mean so I put these in the solid category I feel like out of all the McQueen products these are maybe the most uh expensive everything else is like I'm telling you like five dollars or under but the eyeshadows are more at that like eight or nine dollar price point and I think it's solid for it I definitely prefer this quad to the eyeshadow I'm going to show you next but just soft color I feel like that's very much a k-beauty style neutrals maybe some like pinks or warm tones with a nice shimmer usually something that's like semi sheer and this definitely gives that look so I'm just blending that out a nice warm brown as a transition it blends really nicely I will say that for just like easy everyday makeup sometimes you don't want the most pigmented thing so you can just blend it on real fast easy you know don't have to worry about it I'm gonna go in with this color I don't want something too dark today again I really want the lips to shine I want like a bright fun look so I'm gonna use that second darkest color just to add a little bit more depth in the outer corner but not too much perfect yeah that's perfect I'm glad I didn't go with that darker color for the shimmer shade that's in here it is more of that like flaky more dry texture which i love that usually shows off a shine really well but if you're putting it on a dry lid sometimes it's not going to have that much sticking power so i am going to use a glitter glue and if you're having problems with any shimmers out there definitely using a stickier tackier base to apply them or even if you want applying them wet is going to help with their sticking and like lasting power throughout the day so i'm just using a little of the nyx glitter glue i'm tapping just a little bit it on and I do one eye at a time so I have some time to work Ooh, so pretty I really love the shine on this it's not necessarily like a special color you know there's other colors out there 
that are like this, but I do think it's still really pretty. And I love how compact it is in the quad. If you're someone who does a similar look every day, I feel like this has a lot of nice colors in it. I think they have one other quad color and I definitely am interested in maybe trying that one out next. I also think this color would look so good on its own, just on the lid with the tacky base, especially I feel like for summer, so many of the lip products I'm gonna be showing you, I feel like are for me what I wanna wear for summer because they're juicy and like bright. That's when I want those juicy bright lips. <laughs> Before we move on to probably my favorite item I've tried from McQueen, I wanted to mention the other eyeshadow palette that I did pick up. I did a look with this uh, the other day and it looked really good. Like I liked the way it turned out. Again, I feel like it's a solid product. So, I mean, look how cute this is. I always am like, why don't brands make small little eyeshadow palettes? And I'm not gonna lie, I love how tiny the pans are in here just because I think of all the eyeshadow that I have in my collection. And I'm like, if I could, you know, buy mini palettes like this, it'd be perfect. It's like just enough color, right? That being said, I felt like I got a really pretty look. Again, some lighter washes, really easy to blend. There are some shimmers in here, but really there's this pink one that has a little bit more of that like sparkle. I'm not trying to flip you off, but I'm also not trying to show you my stained fingers. So that one's pretty, but the other shimmers in here, which there's only like two other ones, a lot of this is matte. They're just not super special, not necessarily anything that's going to stand out. But I still thought I got a pretty look. I still think that it's solid. It's just, there's so much eyeshadow out there. So you kind of have to decide, but I love the the packaging and I don't think that if you're going in with the right expectations of more easy everyday simple looks like I don't think you'll be disappointed I was able to get some sufficient like depth with the darker mattes in here um, I'll show you the eye look I thought it turned out really pretty but again just kind of to me mid you know like they can work I'm creating a beautiful eye look right now but not necessarily like the thing I'm raving about you know when I think of all the eyeshadows that I've tried what I really do love though are the eyeliners from McQueen. These are like $3 or something. Like they are so inexpensive. And you guys know me, I love a good just pencil sharpenable eyeliner. And I love that these are inexpensive, but I really truly love the shimmer ones because that is what I'm after. I love a nice sultry shimmery liner on the lower lash line blended out. I just can't get enough. So there are so many great colors. I'm gonna give you some swatches. This one here is 08, a nice bronze shade. I'll tell you my favorite one as we come up on it. This one, is 05 Cherry Blossom. This one's a little bit lighter. I've tried using this on my inner corner and it works okay, but because it has a little bit of a gold to it and it's a little bit deeper on me, it doesn't like have the shine. But if you have a deeper skin tone, I think that would be really good in the inner corner. This one here is kind of burgundy, like a light rose almost. And that one is called 09 Romantic Heroine. It has a little bit of shimmer, like sparkle going through it. This one here, 03 French Latte. Beautiful, love this. It's like a bronze and it kind of leans a little little bit warm, just a nice shimmer running through it. And then my favorite one, which I was not expecting, but this just makes my blue eyes pop so well. This one's number four. Oh my gosh, and it looks so good. I think because it has that nice warmth from the gold, it really like under my eyes here. I like dream of summer, it's so beautiful. I've been using this a ton and I just feel like for the price, these are amazing. They're also just good. Like I wanna use these next to my Urban Decay, next to my Pixie liners, which I also love. And just the fact that they're so affordable is amazing. And I think if you're shopping on Yes Style and you're already looking for some makeup items, I would throw a few of these in your cart. I know I will definitely be picking up the ones I don't have. So with all those swatches, I'm gonna be taking number three. This one I'm gonna use more as a top liner because it has the most depth. I also personally love that these aren't black. I think they did have a black, but I like a softer look. I'm kind of just tight lining and then I'm gonna take a brush and smudge that out. I always like to smudge my liners. I feel like it gives it so much more of like a natural look and gets rid of any harshness. And these are nice and glidey, but they're not as soft as some glidey pencils. And I actually really like that about these. Sometimes with really, really soft, glidey pencils, they get kind of mushy. Do you know what I'm talking about? These hold their shape while still having a nice glide to them. All right, now I'm gonna take that gold one that I love so much and I'm just aligning my under eye. It matches the top liner so well. And then I'm gonna blend that out. And this has a little bit of that past liner on, so I'm really focusing that on the outer edges. Ooh, I love it. I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm also gonna add a little bit of highlighter to my brow bone and my inner corner. I just can't not, you guys. I need that lift. I need that shine. 
Okay, I have the mascara on. I'm gonna zoom you in here just so you can see the look up close. I think it's so pretty. And even though I wanted something light, I still feel like this look has tons of definition for me anyway for every day, especially because mascara always adds so much depth to my face. I also, I love, like look at that cute little sparkle on my lower lash line because of that liner. I love it. It also like matches the shade perfectly, but I also really like using this shade when I'm not using, you know, a similar shade on the lid. It's just been popping my looks a ton. I've been using that Bobbi Brown Lunar New Year quad so much and that metal rose shade, I'll put that all over the lid and then I'll line with that same gold liner and it looks so good and really pops my blue eyes. So let's do lips now. I almost don't know what to pick. I'm like, maybe I should just go bright since I'm wearing a little bit of a lighter, you know, look and also shirt and everything. As you can tell, my lips already have a lot of pigment on them because these lip products definitely stain. I really feel like where McQueen also shines besides those eyeliners is just in lip products in general. Every single lip product I tried, I really love. They're that classic K-beauty style. There's some really beautiful, like soft, velvety, blurred lip looks to be had. So first let's talk about these guys. They're so cute. You, oh, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. I picked out four of the cotton tints to try try and all of them are so stunning so beautiful first off i love the packaging again these are like five dollars a piece and if you're looking for that really nice again velvety blurred lip look these are beautiful and i feel like they go on super easy super smooth i kind of like this color it's a little bit like a pinkier red i think that's what i'm gonna wear this is the shade 05 rose all of the colors are more in that pink red kind of zone. I feel like so much K-Beauty lip products do that, but I love the way that these apply. So smooth. You can choose to like blur these out and have them less pigmented if you want. And I feel like they also look really good that way. Some things don't look great sheared out. These look stunning. And I think I really love how easy it is to get a nice lip line. One of the things I actually don't like is a super harsh lip line. I love my Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. So they're like one of the only lip products I like that sharp lip line with. Other than that, I, you know, I sometimes feel uncomfortable sharply defining my lips because I don't have the biggest lips, but also I feel like any little mistake, I mentioned this with eyeliner recently, any little mistake you can like see, but I feel like the blurred kind of lip line that these give is so flattering and even I who's very insecure and self-conscious about it I love the way it looks and I'm not even using a lip liner so here's the color so so beautiful I'll show you a few other colors on the red one here this is the shade chili orange a beautiful really warm toned orangey red love that one definitely one I can't wait to wear I love that color with like a inner corner that's green I just love a hot red orange with that color combo like that's one of my favorites they have this one that looks like a berry and it isn't actually berry on it turns into a nice cool toned like blue toned red this is the shade 06 burgundy and then last year the coral one is just like a nice coral it has a little bit of like orange going on in it but all of these are going to stain your lips a little bit and I actually quite like that I feel like I've only been getting into these types of lip products and really lip products in general in the last year maybe year and a half and I really love how gracefully these wear away I like the stain that's left behind it's nice because you can then just put on a gloss on top if you don't want to reapply this and you still have a lot of nice color going on on your lips so really love the cotton tints these are great next let's talk about these stains because these are beasts of color okay I picked up two, I think there might be maybe four in the line. These are the Jelly Plumping Water Tints, okay. These are almost like food coloring in a bottle because they stain that hardcore. Okay, so I will give you a fair warning of that. Like these are no joke. They are gonna stain really well. I think these are great though. If you want a lot of pigment, a lot of color, you can put these on and you're gonna have basically nothing on your lips, but you have tons of bright pigment. And I think that's a really cool look. When I layer these a ton, which you don't even really need, I'm telling you they are so pigmented, they're so pigmented. Uh, but when you layer these a ton, I do feel like the slightest bit of stickiness from them. But what you can do if that's something that's uncomfortable is just 
like wipe off the product that's left and you will get a stain that is essentially the exact same color anyway. And then truly you have no slipping. It's like the true liquid lipstick where uh, there's no product, there's nothing to be moved around because there's really nothing on your lips anymore. It's just the stain. These also work really great if you want to kind of pre-prep the area. I know some of the lip looks can be like, you know, putting the color on your inner rim and kind of ombre it out. These would be perfect for that as well. So one shade is 01. This one's more of like a true red. Think Benefit Benetint on steroids. Okay. It's so pigmented. And then this one here, number uh, three, is more of like an orangey color. It has some red to it, but it definitely has a nice orange, like warmer hue to it. So these are really cool. If you're looking for an intense stain, I do think they're great. And I find that they stain really evenly as well, which sometimes that doesn't happen with things. So really love those products, even though they're intense, very cool and very long lasting as well. I have another kind of blurring product from McQueen. Let me look up the exact name. They're not on the package. These are the baked velvet tints. There are six different colors. I picked up two. The shade number five is so beautiful. It's like my lips, but a little bit brighter, like the youthful summery version of my lips. Instead of going more brown or neutral, it's like adding that color, but still feels really natural and just brightens up my face. Really love this. Um, this one is also very velvety and blurring, but I feel like this kind of sinks into my lips in a way that it just feels like my lips naturally kind of look like this velvety blurred color. I was talking with this all day, didn't get a white ring, which I loved. Like I was so happy about that. So really love these as well. I'm telling you all the lip products from them are, are good. The price on them is right and they actually perform really well. Number six is also really pretty. It's like a warm uh, terracotta kind of color. Uh, both of those are really nice as well. I think I prefer the cutie packaging of these ones, but these are more, I feel like every day colors where a lot of the cotton tints are a little bit brighter. One of the last things for colored lip products, these are the Kissing You Tint Glow Lip Balms. And these are really nice if you want a glowy, more moisturizing kind of look. They have a more juicy, uh, hydrating and a little bit of a shine going to them. They're not super glossy, uh, but they are a more glossy balm, like hybrid type of product. I think they're nice and moisturizing. The balm kind of wears away though as you wear it, and then you're left with that little bit of tint, which I kind of like again, and then you can add like a lip gloss or reapply these if you want to. I feel like the lighter pink one is kind of a dupe for that Dior glowy balm thing. It goes on and it's kind of clear, but then it has that like pink that develops. So if you're looking for a dupe of that, I feel like this is definitely giving a similar kind of vibe and look to that. And then last for lips, I've really been enjoying this Volume Fix Essential Lip Oil. <laughs> That's what it's called, full name. I've been wearing this a ton since I got it to try out and I thought I would actually apply. I'm gonna take off this color so you guys can see the stain that's left behind since I've been wearing it. And then I thought I would show you that gloss in action. You're probably like, uh, is it coming off? I know, I told you. They stain really nicely. Like as these leave your lips, you're not getting any kind of weird lines or anything like that. I feel like they go on so evenly, which is so nice. But it's not one of those situations where if it starts wearing off here, it's not gonna leave more of a stain here. And also the way the color goes on, it's so even and it like stains it a similar color. So there's no, product on my lips right now. It's all off, that's all just the stain. I love the little packaging of this. It almost makes me feel like I am, I don't know, putting on, yeah, like an, an actual essence or like a real skincare almost type product. Um, this is a lip oil, but it's kind of a gloss hybrid. I feel like so many things are called oils when they're, you know, more glossy. And that's how this one is. It has that like paddled doe foot, which I only ever experienced from the Romand brand. Those glassing water glosses that I love so much. So I wasn't as thrown by it. I was like, oh, okay, I know how this works. It leaves a nice shine, a nice feel on the lips as well. It does have a bit of a rosy smell. It's very light though, and I don't find it tastes because I would be pretty turned off by that. It's like just at the right level, not too much. And there are the lips with the gloss on, and that I feel like is how I would like wear them throughout the day. So, you know, put that on in the morning or before you go out. And then when I'm out, I'm not touching up with that. I'm just not, I don't touch up with like color products for the most part. So then putting a gloss like this on, you already have the tint on and you get some nice hydration going. So that is the look done. I have a few other products I wanna talk about though. So I'm gonna zoom 
zoom out just a little. I think the last thing I wanted to mention, and these ones were a bust, these are the liquid eyeshadows. These are the Jewel Potent eye glitters and I you know I don't know if it's just me I just don't get on with liquid eyeshadows okay I tried to make these work so much I really really did I've applied them just by themselves to see kind of how they go and they initially go on promising I feel like where they have a nice amount of pigmentation but as soon as I start actually trying to blend them out with my fingers in any real way like all the shimmer is gone and you're just left with like bigger glitter chunks and I just don't love the look I can see how how, uh, it could be pretty but I almost wish it didn't have those glitter chunks in it and then it would just be kind of a, a wash of color with like very very minimal shine to it I got the shade number one and number two I just I can't I don't know how do you make these work you guys I then tried these on top of my eye look so like after I've applied all my powder shadows and all that to see if maybe they wear better like layered on stuff but I found that was also a bust and they were kind of like taking away the shadow underneath so I just feel like in general liquid eyeshadow is just a category that's so tough for me Especially if they're in colors or you know, I'm going to be using them in any way where I can't just Apply them th with the product applicator and then leave them if I need to do any type of blending out or anything It just never goes well for me. I don't know what it is. Tell me your secrets if you make liquid shadows work How do you do it? How do you use them? What are some good ones out there? Let me know But that's my review of trying a ton of different McQueen products from yes style some really great ones I highly highly suggest the lip products. I think they're all really great. I think you will not be disappointed There's some really fun colors and I really like the the way that they wear and the way that they actually look on my lips. I also really love the eyeliner as well. Those are the things that have my like biggest stamp of approval for sure. But if you've tried McQueen products, let us know down below. What are your thoughts? What are some of your favorite products if you found some gems? Because they are more inexpensive, even within other K-beauty brands. I feel like they're one of the more inexpensive ones. And I'm gonna widen that out too. If you have anything from YesStyle that you really enjoy, let us know down below. Cause I'm always trying to find new things on there that I wanna try out or that are good and I love getting your guys' recommendations. Thank you so much to YesStyle for sponsoring this video and letting me give my honest thoughts on these products. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' support so much. Thank you. And I think I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.